Hey everyone, it's me Erica, and today I've decided that I wanted to take part in the book to a thon here on YouTube. This idea of a readathon on YouTube was created by Ariel Bissett and Padfoot and Prong07. I will link the videos where they talk about it down below, so if you want to check out the original videos, feel free to. If you don't know, a readathon is where you read as many books as possible or as many pages as possible in a set amount of time. This readathon is set from July 15th to July 21st, so it starts next week or tomorrow. But they decided to make it a little bit more interesting than just reading as many books as possible. They decided to add some challenges to it. I will be doing the majority of the challenges, except for two, so let's just get into that right now. The first challenge is to read 300 pages a day, and this one will be the most difficult for me because I am a really slow reader. I hope to strive for it, but it's not like my number one goal of this readathon. The next challenge is to read a book over 500 pages, and for that I chose Gone by Michael Grant. This book also completes another one of the challenges, which is to read a book that's been on your shelf forever. I don't know what's been making me put this book off, but I'm finally picking it up and I'm really excited about it. I've always had an interest in this book, that's why I bought it in the first place. It's a uh, dystopian, I believe. It's where all the adults one day just disappear off the face of the earth and only teenagers, kids, and toddlers are left and they have to deal with the struggles of, you know, living in the world by themselves and just figuring out what happened to all the adults. The next challenge is to reread a book and I've actually never reread a book before so this will be new for me and I chose The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong. Don't mind the condition of this book. I read it a really long time ago when I was first getting into reading so I really obviously didn't care that much about what my books look like. Now I'm totally OCD. But anyways, I'm going to be rereading this book. I remember absolutely loving it. So I will be excited to revisit those memories. And this is about a girl named Chloe and she can see dead people. And after one incident, she is sent into a home and she finds out that other people there also have kind of paranormal special abilities just like her. But the people aren't the only thing that's kind of off. It's also the place. It's kind of a mystery and Chloe's determined to find out what's really up with this place, what's the background story, and yeah, it was really good. It's one of my favorite books and I just can't wait to reread it. The next challenge is to finish a series or trilogy and I am choosing Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. This is the final book in the Hunger Games trilogy and I'm really excited to finally get through this series and just see what happens to Katniss and Peeta and Gail. Those are all the books that I'll be reading dedicated to those specific challenges so if I get through these three books I will be extremely proud of myself because I struggle to read one book a week so reading three plus this massive one would be amazing but I do want to set myself up for reading 300 pages a day and if you read 300 pages a day that adds up to 2,100 pages so I added a few more books the next book that I chose is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins this is a contemporary romance and I'm sure most of you guys have read it it's about a girl named Anna and she is sent to boarding school in France and that's kind of where her life takes off by meeting new friends and meeting new hot guys you know that stuff so contemporary romance these are my BFFs so hopefully I can fly through this book and really enjoy it the final book that I plan to read for the readathon is Across the Universe by Beth Revis. This is about a girl named Amy and her and her family board a ship called Godspeed and it is destined to a new planet that will be like a new Earth. But it's 300 years into the future, but 50 years earlier, Amy's woken up because someone tries to kill her. So it's science fiction, mystery, the print is kind of small so it's kind of intimidating but hopefully I can get through all these books. Here are all the books that I plan to read for the readathon. Hopefully I can get through my main three that I want to and if I get to Anna and the French Kiss or Across the Universe 
at least just start it, I'll be really, really proud of myself. And if for somehow a miracle happens and I finish all five books, I will be just blown out of my mind. Like, it'll be one of the greatest achievements in my reading life ever. So altogether, these books add up to be 2,130 pages. This is actually my first time I've ever done a readathon, so it's a lot of new experiences and shoved into one week. So if you are partaking in the readathon, which I hope you guys are, I wish you luck and wish me luck because I'll need it. And I would really like to know what books you will be reading for the readathon. So leave a comment below listing all the books you will be reading. I will see you guys in the next video. Good luck and see you next time. Bye!